right, look at our apple tree. Wonderful. Mm, nom nom nom. An apple a day keeps the doctor away and all that jazz, yeah? Ooh, and there's a couple more up there. Oh, things have been going great in the village. It has been a little bit, just a little bit. I've been working, oh, come on, come on, come on, apple tree, there we go. I've been working around the village, just kind of tidying some things up, collecting things. Can't reach those apples. Oh, without breaking the block. I can't break the block. Okay, we're good. What are you doing on there? What do you think you are? Like, Bob the sheep? Really now? You, you need a little bit of perspective, Mr. Pig. You're a pig. You don't belong in that tree. Thank you. Though maybe I shouldn't have discouraged your dreams. Now I feel bad. <laughs> I feel like I... What? Are you coming over? <gasps> are you going to eat the apples out of here? <gasps> you are. Well, okay. You can have one. Nope. I'm, I'm king of the... I'm king of the apple tree. I don't know what you're doing. What a silly pig. What a silly pig. But welcome back to the Village of Light, everyone. I have good news. The inn is finally completed. It took me a little while, but we got there. And look at everybody. Look at everybody. Herding sheep and jumping around. And there's a cow over there. Oh, I worked on the pathways a little bit so people can get up and down a little bit better. But yeah, things are going great in the village. The inn is done, so I'm going to show it to you guys. I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Oh, hey, Hope. Hope grew up, by the way. Let's go check her out. Hey, Hope. 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 Hope! That was a little dramatic. Do I need to put a fencing up there, too? She sells the two glowstone and two redstone. So she's, you know, one of the good priestesses of light. Doing pretty good. What was that? Got a little lag spike. Is it bedtime, guys? Is it is it time to sleep? Not quite yet. Man, look at how many of you there are. Yolanda, Yolanda has some suspicious suspicious information about her. Any babies? No, I don't see any babies. There's trouble though. All right, how are you guys doing over here? There's Maya, Lily, and Tate are just hanging out right here. There we go. <laughs> Everyone's freaking out because it's night. Calm down, everyone. It's day, we're good. But check it out, it's the inn. It's completed. Oh, let's get up on this crafting bench, it's completed, ta-da. Absolutely awesome, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud, let me show you, let me show you the side. We'll work our way to the inside. Looks nice from the side and I actually love how it's built into the mountain. I think that is so much fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun with that. So everyone has been coming in and using the inn quite a bit too, which I actually didn't think would happen. So it's been pretty interesting walking in here. Oh, hey, honey. Honey is pretty new. Pork chop for emeralds. I can totally pull that off. And then Nick, who uh, I like him because he wants coal for emeralds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can get behind that. Are you guys fighting? Heather and Maya are having some issues. Heather wants books. Maya wants wool. We'll talk to you later, Maya. But these are the little in bedrooms. There's nothing in here just yet because I kind of wanted to show you guys everything before I decorated. There's a glowstone that I got from one of the priestesses and trade for an emerald. Uh, that is actually a glowstone right there. It's using the chisel mod to make it a glowstone lantern, which I think looks really nice. But the rooms aren't that big, but they're big enough that we can put some chests. Oh, hey, hey, Laura. How are you doing? Laura is amazing, by the way. Laura is one of the super duper specialist priestesses of light because check out what she sells. Eye of Ender. I don't even know what that is, but I know it sounds super rare. Super rare. I think it has something to do with the Ender Dragons and stuff. Oh, hi. <laughs> but as you can tell, so she's super awesome. I think Laura is going to play a big role in the future. But as you can tell, everybody likes the inn. They come into the bedrooms quite often. I figure we'll put like, oh, oh hi, Maya. That's right, you like wool. We'll put a bed right here. We'll put a little nightstand with a flower pot. We'll add like either some shelving or a chest or both. And that's actually something I wanted to ask you guys. Like, what do you think we should name this in? Oh, hey, Grizzly, how you doing? Yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk sometime. We have a little upstairs, just kind of a nice little upstairs where you can look around and see how things are. We have our little archway up here. You can walk across, boom, boom. And now you're on this side. See, everyone loves coming into this inn and just hanging out. I think that's so cool. I guess this is like the first official building built in the Village of Light, so it's pretty neat. Heather again. Oh, hey, it's the original dude. You and I are going to talk about that sword, sir. I have to find where I put my emeralds. But yes, 
So this is the inn. I was thinking down here we could put like some tables maybe, some food. But I wanted to ask you guys, do you have any good names for it? Like, any good names for the inn in the Village of Light? And it'll get bigger as time goes on and we think we should add more things. Let's see. Also, Tate, hang on. I kind of want to, let's see, what am I going to do over here? I kind of want to get like a little garden going in front of it. Oh, I'm gonna need water for a garden. Okay, we can we can totally make that happen. Boink. Is that a chicken? <gasps> Is that one of our chickens? Oh no, you don't. <laughs> well, that fixed that. Okay, put this back down so no villagers escape. Come over here and get some water. So we can grow our crops. But yeah, do you guys have a name for the inn? Um, or any ideas? And I was thinking that tentatively, I'm still, I'm still playing with this idea. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? I need to put a water block. I wonder, like, can you hide? I'm gonna try an experiment. So say I put the water right there, and then put a block right there. <gasps> Does that count? Can you, like, tuck the water away? <gasps> it counts! Look at that! I just learned something new! So you can kind of hide water then. Alright, let's do this. Let's grow some carrots right here. Is that so deep? Let's see, what do I have in here? Um, dark fin grass. There's another glowstone thing. Some seeds. Ooh, some magenta wildflowers. Maybe we'll do something with that, Tate. But yeah, so any names for the inn would really be appreciated. But we're going to add Hunter in in just a second. Uh, and get moving, because we need to get back to our zoo back to our zoo and yes i love being here in the village of light thank you for letting me take a few episodes just to relax unwind try out some new building skills uh it was a lot of fun i learned a lot i think the villagers really enjoy it uh do you guys think i should download bibliocraft which will add like more tables more chairs maps uh, shelving, armor racks. I've been thinking about it, and if it works, I think I will put it in the game. And then we can decorate the end a little bit more with that. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas as far as that's going, like for the end, how to decorate it, all of that, let me know. But for now, it is time to get Hunter here. So let's go ahead. We're gonna make a couple beds. One, two, and we'll make one of the rooms a double bedroom. Let's see, take the wool. One, two, three. Alright, let's see. And then... Oh, Tate, you're so cute. What was that? I thought I heard a comet, but no, I think we're good. Alright, let's see. Spruce wood? Yeah, I think we worked with spruce wood. But yeah, I'm thinking about decorating this place. Adding food. Hey, Lana. And for now, I'm going to put Hunter in here. And we've, t we've talked in the comments a little bit about what Hunter should look like and who Hunter should be. So we're gonna we're gonna look that over a little bit too. Let's see, put the like be end table right there. Put the bed right there. Can you use that? Yeah, you can use that. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Jeez, everyone's so noisy out there. Actually, I think we'll move the end table over one. Like that. And that doesn't give you any room to stand. I don't, I don't know. We'll we'll get there. Oh, maybe over here. No, that just looks weird. Like at the end of the bed like that. Again, this might be somewhere where a, a furniture mod. And if you guys have other suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I'm still learning about all these amazing mods that we have in the games. Guys, I'll build you like a conference room later. Good grief. This is supposed to be an in room. Get out. Come on, guys. Laura. Yolanda. Fine. Fine. I'll put the beds in later. <laughs> jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, Elena, that was rude, slamming the door in my face. But yes, okay, so let, let me go ahead and get the NPC wand and our supplies. Oh, good, and Krishma's still there. I was worried about her. And then we will get Hunter put in and grab our co er, coconuts. Grab our coconuts? What? <laughs> grab our crocodile eggs and head back home because we have an exhibit to finish. And I get a little bit too excited when we come to the Village of Light. And I can get too distracted by things that I really shouldn't be distracted by. 
you know, you know all that focus, focus, gotta focus things. Let's see, put the eggs in here, put the dirt in here. All right, so I am gonna take one of those. Here's our NPC wand. Um, I'm gonna take the emeralds. I want the gold nuggets. I do want to make some of the gold that I have here into. Ooh, and there's a couple orange poppies. Uh, I don't really want the white roses down there right now. Let's see what's down here. Hmm. Should be good on stuff in here. Where's my diamonds? I want to take the glowstone home. Freeze that helmet comes home. Where's my diamonds? Wait. Are they in my backpack? By the way, my green backpack got destroyed by the- Ah, there they are. By that zombie baby, which is why I don't have it. I can't believe that little jerk. Let's see, let's see. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, we have to use those. Let's see, cyan wildflowers. Oh yeah, and I found these! White gladioli and purple gladioli! Oh. I'm keeping them, actually. They, they, don't, they don't get to keep these. Those are coming home with me. Colorful bush. I feel like azaleas would be good in front of the end. Ah, but yes, I know I get distracted by the Village of Light and we need to stay on task. So come on, Siri, put everything away and let's go downstairs and make Hunter. Who, after talking in the comments, is probably going to be a human, I decided. And not a villager. Because he's going to be somebody who like kind of roams around and doesn't really settle down anywhere. Though I was thinking it'd be funny if, depending on how Hunter's story plays out, he ends up having like... Jeez, you guys, making so much noise. There's Chapman. Huh? Alright, so Hunter's gonna go in here. Where he's apparently gonna talk with one of the original villagers. That's just fine. And let's put him down here. Alright. So his name is gonna be Hunter. He's not actually like a hunter hunter per se. I bet he hunts somewhat. But I think a human male or dwarf male? A dwarf male! Let's see what a dwarf male looks like. Are you kidding me? Really? Let's see, select... Bearded dwarf- Wow, there's so many! I didn't know that! Okay, so do we have lots of, like, humans to pick from? Villager... Monster... Human male, select... And then, select... Wow! I had no clue! I could probably make some really nice... Guard, Kung Fu. Yeah, I could make some great textures to make him match, uh, like, just fit in better. Mercenary, Mercenary, Miner, Priest. That's almost right, just... Let's see. Raggedy, Robes. Oh, there we go! Yeah, this is what we want. There. Okay, so that'll be good for how he looks. And he's going to be a traitor. But we're gonna go into creative mode. Hello, Hunter. And we should probably come up with some fun things for him to- Oh, crap! Sleep! I hear zombies! Why do I hear zombies? Okay, Hunter, I'll be right back. I have to check on my, my crew. Everyone okay? Chapman! Did we lose anyone? I don't see anything on fire. Are you alright? Did you hide under here at night? Not the smartest thing in the world. But this village- Okay, no one's on fire. The iron golems. They're on duty. People are coming out. Oh, that makes me feel better. I was really worried about the, the future of the village for a second there. Oh, while we're up here, let's go ahead and get some... Oh, who are you? Oh, hey, Nandy. How are you doing? Let's go ahead and get some of the azaleas. And we are going to build a flower shop for the, the people who are curious about that. We will be doing that in the future. We should go ahead and do all this. There we go. And then I'm gonna put you there. Let's see. Hmm, for the inn, I'm going to buy... What should I buy for the inn? What colors? Oh, this is dangerous. I love, I love all of these so much that I could probably stand here forever. Let's see, let's do that. Hmm, yeah. Okay, that. Coral, orange. Oh, I could, I could, okay, let's just go ahead and, uh, cough, 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 uh, I did promise Lily Pink Azilias. So there we go, now we spent all of our gold that we had, oh, hi, Dandy, whoa, Dandy, 
I pressed buttons that I didn't mean to, and it pulled up some interesting stuff, Dandy. Was I in the way? I wonder if Dandy and Karima are like an item. That would be interesting. I love the way that like these stories just unravel as time goes on here. But all right, so night came. No one appears to be dead. Let's feed the dogs some raw chicken. And then we'll get back to Hunter. And as I was saying earlier, I think it would be funny if like we utilized Hunter's services at securing animals for us in the future. And he eventually settled down in the village, like find, found himself a nice village wife and ended up living the domestic life. Unintentionally. Like, I, I have a feeling he'd be a little bit embarrassed about it. Because he's, he's kind of, you know, that kind of guy. What do I think? I think it could be different colors, but it's staying for now. Good grief, guys. They really love this inn. Alright, Hunter, I'm back. We are going to switch into creative for just a second. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it so Hunter can sell us the crocodile eggs. Or, as I kept calling them earlier, <laughs> so he could sell us the coconuts. That's so funny that I just kept messing up. Stone crop, parcel mushroom. Huh. Alright, so there's that. And then we also, he's going to trade us one crocodile for, and don't worry, we're not keeping these. This is just to set his trade. For now, he's going to trade us one crocodile egg, and we'll only use each egg once per crocodile, to make it fair, per three diamonds, because I think that sounds fair for the, the work and the effort that he'd have to go through. And I also think it'd be interesting if he sold us, let's see, yeah, the reptile hide right now, after fighting with the reptiles for, one, two, three, four, um, for three gold nuggets. That sounds interesting. All right, so what we do is we go, no, not item giver. He's a trader. Then you come in here and you go for three diamonds. I want one spawn crocodile egg. And for three gold nuggets, I want one reptile hide. And so that'll be what Hunter gives us. And we can also give him uh, different things to say. And in this case, it's gonna be just like, really brought i think that like his character could evolve over time too which i think would be fun like right now he'll be like gruff and like what do you want and then as time goes on we can change his lines because he's warmed up to us and the the villagers and things like that do you have business with me and then just like silence there we go all right so that's hunter and he's all set up now trouble and callie hey callie by the way, Callie, bottles of enchanting. That's amazing. I'm going to have to get some off you before I leave. Uh, oops, let's get out of creative. And then, actually, yeah, get out of creative. I'm going to do a couple more things. Wait, stop slamming the doors. Oh, hey, Nick. I like your coal. All right. So now, let's see, that's Flint. Guys, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I totally just blinked out on what I was doing. Oh, I remember now. There you go. Gonna set up that flower pot. I really I thought I'd like the coral. Maybe it's you. Gonna pick you up. Yeah, that's better. And there's there's carrots in there. Oh, I like it. But yeah, I, I figured vegetable soup could be a specialty that like uh, an innkeeper sells right here. Oh my gosh. Do you guys have business with Hunter? You just shut me in the door, guys. Rude much. Rude much. Out of the way. They're so curious about everything. They're so funny that way. Let's see. So then we're going to put dirt in there. And then little sapling. Nice! You guys are on Hunter's bed. No wonder he's so cranky. Alright, so after all that work, and we'll put the NPC wand in here for when we come back to working with him. But Hunter. Hunter, sir. Hello to you too. We are ready, sir. May I do business with you? Look at him, he's just surrounded by, by these guys. Oh, there you go. See, he just said, what do you want? There we go, dialogue line, back up. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, that's better. The mysterious man who's going to sell us the crocodile eggs. I built this entire inn for you, and it's totally worth it. All right, so we're gonna fork over. So keep 
do, do, keep two. And we're gonna take one, two, three, four eggs for four crocodiles. We have them in our hands right now, finally. <laughs> the crocodile eggs. Okay, we're gonna put those away, put our azilias away. Oh, I should probably put the freezeite helmet away. That's what should go in there instead. Thank you. All right, so we are done. We are done in, in the village for just a minute. There's Laura, I don't need those. I do need to speak with Callie because I want, let's see, a couple of those bottles of enchanting so we can use them when we get back. I need to speak with you because I want a diamond sword. Oh, Callie! Ah, uh, when we come back, we're gonna find out what her final trade is. Callie Redstone! <laughs> That's so boring! And what about your trade? Oh, hey! Coal for emeralds! Nice! Alright, but we- I'm- I'm dilly-dallying too much here in the village. There you go, Trouble. Alright, so. Here's our inn. Let me know if you guys think we need to add some furniture into it. Uh, so recommend your favorite furniture mods and I'll look over them and see if they play well with my game and they fit in okay. We have Hunter now. I just realized we can change the skins uh, on all of the different custom NPCs which could get pretty interesting. We have a totally full village that I totally love. Look at that bumblebee. Mew, mew, mew. No, don't land on my face! I was just trying to look at you! <laughs> it would be really fun to have a flower field one day though, where we just have a bunch of bumblebees flying around. Oh. But look at it guys. Crocodile eggs. Alright. Alright. Let's go home guys. Let's go home. Alright, we're gonna make the long run back home and I will meet you guys back at the snake exhibit so that we can add these super special additions. We'll see them then, huh? Huh? Say bye, Lily. Say bye. Lily. Lily, come back. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to feed the dogs and head home. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Bye-bye. <laughs>